on the other side. He's just waiting. Pops off, buys time. Berettas find their target, but the bomb's still planted. Only moments faster. And that bomb could have been thrown out into the open. Ooh. Electronic going to keep this clean, and his teammates are already starting to dogpile forward. It's a nice clean shot from Buster through the edge of the smoke, but now we've got a player on the defuse. They're body blocking, and that Glock is drying up. We've got bullets going every which way. It's a shootout. A good old-fashioned rock'em, sock'em, donut smoke spam. And not on top of that. They give a little time here for Simple to come down from the top of ramp and kick a player back. Ooh, then he slides underneath that smoke. Shiro, nice boost, waiting for it. Axile did pick up a pistol kill elsewhere at the same time. And now all of a sudden, it feels like Bits MP9 could just topple the totem pole. But smoke soon to fade. At least the first was. They're making moves, but it's really late into the round. 20 seconds bomb is still inside of middle. Starting to size up that A yeah, site. we gotta get eyes on Electronic again. Here he is, behind box. He's got the best spot to delay from. They're not splitting through long. All good for him. Oh, he doesn't stop the bomb. Okay, there he's got it. Oh, and a recovery. Not gonna get the third kill, but Shiro's not gonna have time for that bomb plant. So, late rotation into A candle. Rocky. Dude, I mean, I feel like he just, he remembers the last map versus complexity, but <laughs> the... The four maps before that, he was looking extremely average, so... You know who wasn't, though? Electronic. Electronic on an individual level. Hitting home. And so far, so good here for Ancient. Six and one. And an instrumental stoppage towards that A site. Pistols can't get anything going here for Cloud9. Just trying to creep in some contact, and none of it goes their way. Such an interesting game to throw Bustard into to kind of see exactly how good he can be. Because he's started to trend slightly upwards, but it's not like he has a lot of space. I mean, he's basically just enters again, which means he's not going to see tons of frags across these games, even if he plays very well. Nafany shows a little skin inside a cave, and there's three Navi players ready to go on this side of the map. Middle, the most open point. But then what? We already have a great makings of a great match here from Electronic. So many duels he's taken without support and won. Here comes the exec. Try to keep it simple. It's going to leave Perfecto ahead of it. Nice flash out of NPL. Sets his teammate up perfectly. And it's going to be the double from Perfecto, dude. Uh -oh. Exile just got stuffed. And we're talking about the rifle god of Cloud9. Nafany comes out cave a little late, looking for something of a test through either of these smokes, but he's not even going to see anybody. He just keeps getting hit by bullets. Dink, donk, bonk. Out. But if it only took a week to get Navi back to killer form, they're going to be pleased with that. NPL. Finally given a chance to fight here. And with it, the first of five Tech Nines goes down. Navi, not even going to hide behind that, but rather peek into mid. Yeah, they have elbow control. I love the double CT pushes. They don't even need the second CT in some of these spots. And it just seems like Navi know exactly what Cloud9 want to do. Every single player is getting called out with a, a flash, an HE, a push. Map is feeling tiny right now for C9. Into the top middle smoke, electronic. Ooh. Missed smoke from Nafany. And that's just going to put Hobbit on a silver platter. The other T's continue to walk up. Bomb drop, bit. Oof. Oof. It is clean and moving. So Simple's going to take an angle here. Both CT's playing long. Molly comes deep off of the ramp. That'll keep Simple busy. Perfecto decides to push up short. Two kills. And then the trade comes back from Shiro. Simple just going to be wary of the walk-up. But he himself decides to take the initiative. And he misses a shot. Deagle's out. And Hobbit applying pressure. Simple knows what he needs. That shot into Shiro. Necessary to stop Bomb and to give himself a chance. But instead, folks, Cloud9 find their first. To make things a little bit more creative. I think, you know, we saw that clip. We also think, uh, specifically on Inferno, and we'll see what happens when we get to map two, but a very stationary simple as well, right? Just kind of like, almost felt bogged down. 
Wasn't this active, constantly position changing, in your face and lethal simple? And so, another missed chance. Electronic able to slide forward as teammates bolster the back line, and this one is going to come up Navi yet again. Hobbit can throw the Hail Mary, little to lose, but met by a smoke, kind of just told to sit back and wait. When Simple's at his best, you're rarely going to see him in retake spots. And here, right now, whatever site he's on seems to be the one that's being taken over. So, again, just so much support. And I really say support because the Riflers are finding the opening kills. He doesn't even have to get one after a failed opening attempt. Hobbit? Well, he can walk out into this. There's a sideways electronic, but a sharp electronic. Uh, he's plugged in. So, Shiro now with this op. Of course, fully intent on saving. One step behind every step of the way. And Shiro, I mean, he had this op, but there was only pistols otherwise, so... Leave him a gap, and Navi are going to go hunting. Smoke in front of bit. This is going to be an extremely tough push to get past. Yeah, and but, little spam. Oh, okay, Hobbit. Senses the situation. Bullets go both ways. Invitation from Maine. We've got a couple players that way too. And Simple's going to get iced out by Hobbit. There he is. Sometimes when push comes to shove for Cloud9, it's Hobbit oh. who goes above everybody else when he needs to. And sure enough, that pressure from Hobbit, those opening kills, and a quick fight out of Axile into Temple is going to give C9 that second. Hobbit absolutely saves the day. And we have three players who are so low at the moment. It's wild that we've seen Electronic all across the map so far. He was the player who goes down the ramp in the last round. Constantly looking for openings. This round, it's going to belong to Simple. Now, we've got the Donut split coming out. Nice kill from Axile. But Pit gets flushed out of Donut from that mid-pressure. And he gets right into the engagement, chopping off another player towards main. Yeah, 4v2 oh. with you tilt down. Nice lurk out of NPL, catches Hobbit as he looks to gear up and assist Axile inside sight. It is a flurry of... They themselves are convinced, and convincing could have been Naphany getting the better of NPL on the FAMAS. Oh, there again he's going to get found. NPL through the wood wall last round, through the smoke and cave this time. It's again an X-Factor moment here for Cloud9. They very quickly disperse back towards middle. We're going to get bit tested. It's not Axile hiding in sight. It's bit... Oh, just missing a chance to stop that donut lurk, but he oh. him OCT waiting. And it's a combat op out of Shiro versus Perfecto, who has been sharp. But this is going to need to be clean. And sure enough, headshot in an instant, right back by Buster. A great chance for him to clutch versus Simple. Taps it and waits for the peak, which doesn't come a second time around. And this is down to the stick. Oh, but Buster busts them wide open 1v2. The new hire comes through in the clutch. Who was there? Naphany slides out. Back corner player and bit connects. He didn't get a lot of info on that peak, so. Dude, Perfecto just sprinted over. He's properly joined his teammates at this site, and right now. We actually get Hobbit clearing out A in the meanwhile. Bomb is still, however, moving up that ramp at the 30-second mark. They could still try to bring this back. Axile's going to survive the attempt. Simple jumps back over to the pillar. Double kill in from Axile. They had an open A site elsewhere, and that means Perfecto is still given a chance, but a nice, long, slow, grueling lurk out of Hobbit rewards them with the... We've seen some well-timed dry peaks into the bomb site. Peels Navi's players off of it. But check out this Navi creep. Perfecto going back and forth. Doesn't want to leave a gap for middle, but he had an inkling as to that A site coming in. No. No, for, no, don't take any gifts. Okay. But if he went over there, Simple's trying to... Oh! MP9! Bit senses the presence. Peeks out at the perfect moment. And Hobbit... Well, he's got Simple burned back into the CT spawn. A couple of players, in fact, over there. And right now we've got Buster sprinting through this B site, and trying to get back into the action when in reality this one's already over. They turn and watch flank, but now the last two CTs just hide. Cloud9 
hitting a bit of a hiccup, getting their feet inside of the caves. Nobody peeking down the ramp. The CTs. Oh, it's clean out of Axile. It's got seven kills, but they've all been nice, right? Could be a good sign of things to come. Catches those players jumping to the back site. Navi gonna go ahead and take their plant. Can they get off site? Yes. NPL slides back into caves. Electronics gonna stick around behind Pillar. And if Hobbit just buys his time, plays this one late. I think he waits for the trades to come down on the site to turn that cave player back around. Makes but a lot of sense. Goes towards the T side. NPL, though, catches the free headshot. Now they've got eyes on Kid. Perfecto's dead. Axile, clean with it. Coming in big. Hobbit's lurk starts to work forward. Missed shots. Oh my God. Ooh, that could have gotten sketchy. <laughs> yeah, but he'll have a kit and get back on that bomb, so all good, Cloud9. A P2K, I think. <laughs> Hobbit has extended down to the bottom of middle now. Could start to screw with the players on lane, but instead he's just going to stay tucked in case this doubles back. Got a comparable uh -oh. to that pistol. Naphne slides out, drops bomb. Trade frag again efficient. And that's enough to turn attention back towards lane. So now Hobbit's not able to get into game. He's got to wait. He's got to fight. And they take it to him. Electronic down to 4 HP as they just smash him back off that mid play. And it's going to keep Cloud9 relegated to the back lane of this B site. If you want to chance your retake, you've got problems. If you want to save your guns, you've got problems. It was the fluid communication that won Na'Vi those early rounds to start off this game. And now look at Electronic on the other side of the map somehow. Going from MAC-10 to M4. And Shiro looking for frags, and he'll get at least one, but still three alive here. As this C9. Axile's got the support he needs. Buster's going to distract the Donut player. 5-7, gunned down. He knew that he could pounce on NPL. He gets the better of him, but luckily NPL's not playing on its own. And the trade frags go excellently for Navi. All is good. Yeah, they're vicious on the trades. Looking extremely cohesive. Right there to cover one another. 12th round doesn't scare, doesn't spell disaster for Cloud9, but... It definitely starts to get a little bit worrisome. Hobbit. Sorry, bud. No. Pressure in cave with flashes. Simple. Ready for the peak. Oof. Shut out by Naphne. Oh, oh what a spray. Nicely done. Gets it back up into oh. Buster. Perfecto emerging through ramp. And it is a very quick hit into the B site. But Perfecto, I think, was spotted as he jumps into the corner. Hobbit reading the situation well. Oh, they have an elbow player to catch the lurk. We'll see if he wins a trade. Axile, oh, he can't do it. It's got him. Headshot taken down. Bits 16th frag so far in this opening map. And Hobbit, you can try your damnedest, but you're going to get dropped right with him. Seven. Yeah, no one here for the moment. Electronic coming into this round with 114 ADR. Um, 20 rounds in. Being delivered to some pistoling players. NPL, my friend, you're going to have to fight for your right to party with Navi, and it's looking real good. Shut him down, move him out, and queue up map two, folks. Because unless it's into the wall, Perfecto comes running out, lets his guard down, dies. And Nafini not going to let off the pressure. No, sir. Two kills out of Nafini. Excellent cave play. Completely shuts down everything going on at that B site. So now it falls on to Shiro and Axile inside the A site. Two big names for C9. And Axile keeps the headshots flowing. Shiro shuts down all things Navi. And that is an eighth. Well done. Nice one. Axile just oh, oh. commits to the mow down. Clean kill on bit. Nearly 30 bullets deep. Dead regardless. But that's all right. Hobbit can pick up a little bit of slack. It's Simple's chance to shine. And a counter terrorist dropping smoke towards Donut just lets him cross over because it's a one way. Mm. Well done, Hobbit. Not only shutting down the momentum behind that, but then doing your own move to ensure it all gets cleaned up. And Perfecto, best of luck breaking through that. Nah, Hobbit. Bit here. Smokes are going to come down. Buster within smokes. Oof, awkward. Oh! With the foot showing. Not ideal. Bit. Finds his headshot right thereafter. Kills are looking clean. Shiro, though, not going to make that cross free. 
Molotov down to the planter, but the bomb is already down, which means damage done. And NPL, finally something that he can just laugh at because he's been on the receiving end of the pocket wall spam of the smoke. But fast into the lane. Cave pressure, Naphne once again. Nice. Catches the headshot to Perfecto, does a ton of damage on Electronic, oh. and finds him with the homing missile. I think it ricochets off the wall for the perfect bounce. Boost on the smoke, though. Two T's inside, and oh. Hobbit just pulls back. So two rounds. The 25th, the 26th, starts off with Naphne drop-kicking any type of lane play from Navi back to the dirt. Back to simple. Got a direct correlation between winning mid and losing it. Oh, they're odds. That flash, how did that even... That was weird. Beautiful pop. I, I think it hit off the wall in the... Oh, we can't stop him from crossing. But it's going to be all good. Shiro, fine with the pressure. Not even going to drop a shot. Finds the pistol kill. Ooh, and the headshot on Perfecto, too. This... To clear. He's coming to clear it. Yeah, all right. And bit more concerned with the CT, oh. but a sliver of Shiro backs up. That was a game of millimeters and milliseconds. And with 35 on the clock, now it's got to be Naphne. Stops bomb. Big kill versus simple. Electronic comes in from short, and Naphne doubles that back around just when you thought that Bit had managed to get the best of Cloud9. Well, here comes Naphne in with another chance. Yes, sir. All three. How did I know that someone was here? Okay. Good recovery here from Shiro. Juggle those guns out. I swear Cloud9 needs to re-clear mid. There's pistols coming into the B site right now. They're leaving. We've got Util to throw down in front. Shiro, hands busy. That's a low HP electronic on the cross. What? Oh my! With such little health, he's just taking things into his own hands. And Buster's feet burn forward. So 4v2. An excellent attempt out of Cloud9. But just as they get to the final two in regulation, they're going to have to lean on 100 health of Axile and 26 to Hobbit. A flash here for Perfecto, Kevlar across the board, and the T's who just sit back and wait, they lurk, and they know what has presented itself to them. Electronic with a killer Tech-9 drops two players inside sight, and not...